good. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. This is one of the first things I do every morning, as many of you guys probably know. Um, I am a creature of habit. I get up first thing in the morning, get dressed, make coffee, wake the kids up. Either I take them to school or Nathan takes them to school and then we start about our day. Uh, today I'm actually gonna be starting some sweet peas and I had actually started sweet peas on the 11th of February. However, my germination is spotty. So I planted two trays, 50 cell trays and I have maybe 10 that sprouted. Um, and I have an entire, like most of the 48 foot long bed um, and the raised bed garden is gonna be dedicated to sweet peas and so I really need those to do well. <laughs> so we're gonna go out into the greenhouse this morning. I'm gonna start some more sweet peas. That's kind of what I'm evaluating this week. If I have stuff that still has not popped up and I don't think it's going to, then I'm gonna make sure I have some replacement seeds and start that. Um, it is something I do recommend. You know, with flower seeds, they take a lot longer to germinate. They really do need that light. Um, I did have some gumfrina finally start to sprout that I didn't think was gonna sprout. So I am gonna give it a good another week, uh, but the sweet peas, I should have definitely already seen some action happening and I haven't. So we'll head down to the greenhouse. I start our morning in there, which is actually gonna be pretty lovely. All right, so I made it out to the greenhouse. It's a little chilly in here. It's about 42 uh, right now. It's a lot cooler this week. Last week we had temps in the 80s. Lows were like, you know, 50s, 60s. And we had a bunch of rain that's supposed to move in. It started moving in uh, over the weekend. And that's pretty much the gist of today. And so I didn't turn the heater on, uh, but it is a little chilly in here. I've only got the peppers and the tomatoes and they're on a heat mat. But since those are real heat loving things, um, I am probably, even though it's not getting below freezing, I am probably still gonna turn the heater on just to make sure it's staying a bit warmer in here to cater to those particular varieties that appreciate that. So the variety that I'm growing is from Johnny's. It is called Elegance Formula Mix. Um, ideally with your sweet peas and really even any type of bean, you would soak them overnight, which is what I did uh, with the first round of sweet peas. I soaked them overnight and then I came and planted them. I do this with all of my bush beans, my pole beans. Um, they really just kind of fatten up and it just makes germination a lot faster. However, I spent all that time doing it the first go round, and as you guys know, I had really bad germination. I forgot to do it last night, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna plant these. So I am just using this black gold from SunGrow. This came with that kit from Haas Tools, and so, the reason that I'm using this is because it is an open bag and it was just in my house and I wanted to use it. We've got those big uh, feed sacks full of soil. I actually have to meet someone this morning and so I wasn't wanting to get just crazy dirty in there, you know, scooping up all this soil, mixing it together, all the stuff. So I am just using this. I am noting that it is a seed starting mix. So if these sweet peas stay in here for a long time, I am gonna have to add some sort of fertilizer nutrients back into them. But all of my starts in the house using this mix are doing fantastic. So I am pretty hopeful. Um, I have, you guys, I'm, I'm doing things not by the books, which I think is good just to show you guys how much freedom I talk about. There's freedom in starting seeds. There's freedom with plants. Plants are so much tougher than you think. It's true. So typically, I'd get all my soil, I'd pre-moisten it, I'd put it in here, I'd plant my seeds, I would have soaked these overnight, but I'm in a pinch. I didn't really think I was going to have to be starting sweet peas again. I've got other plans this morning that I've got to, you know, hold up to, and so I'm just throwing the soil in. I'm going to plant it. I'm I'm gonna soak it really well and it's gonna be just fine. So if you don't always do those steps that are, you know, must haves, it, it's fine. Your, your, your plants are still gonna grow. <laughs> it's not like because you didn't pre-moisten your soil that you're not gonna grow uh, any seeds. It's not how that works at all. So I say that to encourage you guys. I don't do things by the books often and it usually always works out okay. Now, some of these do have bigger clumps in them. Let me turn you guys down. So I'm gonna go through and break up these clumps, but this is just some good, fine soil. I'm like really impressed with that. I'm hoping these actually do something. Break it up.
now that I've got it in here, I'm going to give it a nice little tap. Let all the soil kind of settle a bit. Move some around. This would be a good opportunity. If you notice that some is really, really sinking, you can just go add some more in there. Tap it again. Now we are ready to go. One thing I want to do when we uh, get everything up and rolling in the seed starting tunnel is those big water troughs. Um, I know a lot of people that just keep their soil in there and then you just throw a tray in there and you're ready to go and it's really, it's just a lot easier. Um, and so I, that's probably what we'll do to try to make the seed starting process just faster and more efficient. Oh, the rain's starting to come. <laughs> I don't know that I'm gonna make it out of here without getting soaked. All right, so what I like to do here, which actually I probably should have showed you guys this before I got my seeds out. Um, most times you're planting seeds twice as deep as they are wide. Um, and so sweet peas are pretty big. And so for these, I am actually gonna make some indentions with my fingers. And I'm gonna go through, and if you're looking to do it fast, you can kind of do it as though you are playing a piano. Um, so you've got your three fingers and your three fingers and you can go and make an indention, move down, make an indention, move down, make an indention. And so that's typically what I do. I find it really helpful when you are starting a bunch of seeds. You can just go through and jot, 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 jot. And it's, it's just, it's fast. <laughs> it's really fast. So now that we've made our indention, <clears throat> I'm gonna go through, pop these bad boys in. It is really important not to plant your things too deep. I'd rather plant them too shallow than too deep. Um, mainly because you don't want them to waste all their energy just trying to like germinate. Um, and so sometimes that can be the issue. And I'm trying to recall, I don't think I planted my sweet peas very deep, but since I know I just bought the seed this year, I know it's good seed. I pre-soaked it, which is what you were supposed to do. Um, I feel like I might have just planted it a little too deep. And so maybe they spent all their time germinating just trying to push through the soil. Um, and that's very common and so these I'm not gonna plant as deep uh, just to ensure that that doesn't happen again <laughs> all right now I got them planted I'm going to cover them back up So I will bottom water these, is how I will do that. Um, which is just a good way to water all your little seedlings uh, to make sure that you're not um, causing any damage overhead. You don't have any disease, especially if you're watering overhead and you don't have any airflow <laughs> in your greenhouse, if that's how you're growing, a disease can set in real quickly. Um, and so I do prefer to bottom water. It depends though. So when I'm starting my things in the shorter trays, um, it's easier to bottom water because I can see the water. So I use these paper pot transplant trays and I could sit uh, my 1020s in there, the shallow 1020s, and I could see See the the water really well when you're using the deep 10 20 trays it's real easy for you to put a lot of water in there and a lot of water sits and then you're like whoa you know my everything's like super super saturated what did I do wrong and so I had these sweet peas in a deep 10 20 flat um, I was noticing that they were sitting in that water so I don't actually think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna actually leave them in here and then this afternoon I'll move them down uh, to the seed starting tunnel but I want to take you guys with me today show you kind of my mistakes and and then how easy it is, right? Like, so I started these sweet peas, I want to say it was the 11th. Um, nothing's really germinated. I'm not going to freak out about it. I'm going to re-sow them, um, which is something too. I've been getting a lot of questions. Oh, my tomatoes look luggy. Do I toss them out or restart tomatoes? 
that is devastating, right? There is really nothing worse than spending time starting seeds and they germinate and they sprout and you didn't give them quite everything they needed. And so you're like, well, I'm just gonna chunk them and start again. Don't chunk them. You can up pot them if you notice that your uh, seedlings are starting to get really leggy, they're reaching for light, give them more adequate light pot them up, pot them deeper, um, and they should be fine. Or if you're in an instance like me where you're just like, man, germination was super spotty. I don't really know what happened, but I'm just gonna try again. Try again, you can totally do that. Um, and so used to, when I was beginning, this stuff really like kind of set me back, right? I would feel super discouraged, um, and I just don't let it get to me anymore. When I start noticing that, oh man, they definitely should have sprouted and they didn't, then that's when I'll go ahead and start more. And if for some reason those do end up sprouting, and they just took longer, I can throw them in the cottage garden. Um, I could take extras to the plant cell. I'm sure I can get rid of them. Um, and so I'm not really worried in that case of having an excess uh, because I know that I've got a space for it or somewhere it could go. Let's water this and we'll wrap it up. All right, you guys, I got them watered. I am headed out for the day, but thank you for hanging out with me in the greenhouse as we restarted some sweet peas, fingers crossed. These are all gonna do fine. Again, do not get discouraged. If you are in the same boat as me and you are starting seeds again, cheers. <laughs> It's part of it, right? It's totally part of it. Um, and that is one thing too, just know your seed, know your soil, know when to troubleshoot an up pot or know when to just say, you know what, I'm gonna sow some more and it's gonna be fine. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'll talk to you soon.